This is the most difficult puzzle from Akaki's Picnic Basket series and I'll try to solve it today. But first I have to 3D print it. And as you know, I'm always having issues printing puzzles on my 3D printer. Like I am, I was reached out by Antina and they sent me the Antina 2S 3D printer for review. I was surprised by the size of this printer and I'm very curious what this little thing can do. And my son was even more excited. He said that this printer belongs to him as soon as I finish filming the video. Tina 2S looks like a real printer unlike other 3D printers that look like a do-it-yourself project. It even has a built-in light source so that you can see what you are printing and it's really helpful if you want to film it. You can start printing right out of the box. You just have to plug the tube and load the filament. The only downside is a printing area. It is only 100 by 120 millimeters and 100 millimeters tall. But to be honest, I don't remember printing many projects that require more space. I didn't expect much from a 200 bucks 3D printer, but I was shocked how well the first layer was printed. The built-in outer bed leveling was really helpful here. I'm always having issues with the first layer on my Ender 3 V2. The rest of the printing went like a charm. I even tried to print some complicated toys like this octopus. I never had luck with printing place toys on my Ender 3 V2. They usually come out really bad. And the Tina 2S finished the printing with no effort and we spent the entire weekend printing all kinds of toys and keychains with my son. If you like the Tina 2S and you wanna buy it, I'll put a link in the video description. And now back to solving foie puzzle. So let's take a closer look at the results. The parts are still on a plate. There is no glue, the bed wasn't heating and still they are quite well connected to the plate. Okay, that looks good. And it seems I can easily remove the parts now. There are some issues that I can see, but I can easily fix them with some cutters like this one. It's not a big deal, but in general, the quality is quite nice and the parts look much better than from my Ender 3 V2, which always gives me a hard time when I'm printing something. Now I have to do another test and try to put the parts inside if they fit. They fit nicely inside the original basket. Now I just have to connect parts together. So I have to put this part here, this one here, even the Connection was printed very well and they fit nicely. Let's see if I can still put it inside the frame. Yeah, okay. The printing quality is really awesome. Okay, now I guess we can try to solve the puzzle. If you like this puzzle and you wanna 3D print it, I will put a link to STL file in the video description. And now I'll try to solve it. So if you don't want to see the solution, just don't watch the rest of the video. Usually these puzzles are quite difficult to solve and I guess I have to start with trying to figure out the assembling, how to put all parts inside the frame. And I guess it will be quite difficult. These two parts are quite challenging. I don't know how to put them together. It's supposed to be like a three by three by three cube, but it makes like a three by three by four. That's not correct. And this part is quite odd. You don't see like this shape in, a, in puzzles often. Okay, I think that I have to stick to these two parts and figure out how to put them together and then I will probably find the correct assembling. Okay, oh, wait a sec. This one looks quite promising. I can stick this piece here. This piece goes here. Okay, there is another small imperfection that I have to fix or it can ruin my attempt to solve the puzzle. Now I have to try to figure out how to remove them from the basket. So this one goes out quite easily. I can then lift this piece up, but I can't do anything else with it. Mm, okay, that doesn't look right. So what if I find another side like this one? Yeah, there are not so many things that I can do here, but if I lift, oh, oh wait a sec, I can lift all parts up. Then move this to the left, for example. Mm, doesn't seem like it helps me at all. But I'm pretty sure that's the only assembling that can work here. So if the basket is here, I can lift these parts up. Oh, I will be able to move this to the right. Wait a sec, that, that looks interesting. Both of them go up. This goes to the right. 
since the handle will be right between these two parts. What I can do next? <laughs> Looks like nothing, but that was interesting. Oh, what if I can, what if I can rotate it here? I don't think so. The handle will be here and I won't be able to rotate it because of it. I had to stop recording since I was interrupted by a Czech puzzle designer whose name is Jan Sturm. He creates wire puzzles. He brought me one of his puzzles. But now I'll continue trying to figure out the way how to solve the foie gras puzzle. Quite a difficult one. And I don't know how to solve it yet. So something like this was my last approach. I figured out that if I put two parts like so, let's try. I think that this is the way how it is supposed to be inside. So this piece goes in and then I suppose to maybe, maybe not this one. Maybe I'll start with this piece. What if I try to put it inside this way? Then I try to rotate it and then I, I can't slide it to the right because of this part. Ah, that's why it was made there. It was made on purpose so that I can't move the piece. So this move to the right won't be possible because of this shape. Okay. But how to solve it? I have no ideas now. So I don't think this part has something to do with the solution. Like it doesn't make it trickier. It's just to prevent me from putting this piece inside easily. I guess so. So there are no options to stick this part inside from left or right. So the only option will be to put it either like so. Or, or there are no other options. I like how it goes right in this corner of the box. It leaves quite some space. But then I have to find how to stick this piece inside. Again, I can't put the T-shaped piece inside in such a way as I want it to be inside. Only like that. Uh, I don't want to give up, but it looks like I have to very soon. Hmm, that's interesting. No, I can't rotate it here. But that would be nice if I could do that. I can try to put it from here. Let's see what what can I do here? <gasps> oh no, I won't be able to cover this slope with anything. So that's not the solution. I'm wondering if someone sees the solution and laughing. Like, hey, dude, you had to do just a simple move and the puzzle would be solved, but you didn't do that because I don't see it. Okay, I'll take a break and try a little bit later. Okay, I'm ready to continue after a break, but I have no idea how to solve the puzzle yet. So far, I have one combination. Then there is another one. And there is a third one. Or there is something like this also. I like how it faces the handle. Oh, what if, what if the rotation is possible here? I can, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe I can rotate it, uh, I don't know, very tight. Okay, maybe, maybe it is possible. Maybe this rotation is kind of possible. I can move it one step up, remove this piece, and then I have to figure out how to rotate this piece. Yeah, since the only option to remove it will be to stack these two parts up, move them to the left and rotate this piece somehow. But it doesn't seem like it can be rotated inside. Okay, maybe I will be able to remove it. And then I have two more parts left. How to deal with them? Let's try. That's quite interesting idea. Maybe, maybe I will be able to do it. So this piece goes first. Now let's try to figure out the way how to put it inside. It doesn't go like that. Hmm. 
it does go like that but then how to deal with the piece below it i have to rotate it somehow oh maybe i can rotate it now let's see let's see please uh, that's not easy okay this one is done then i e. <gasps> oh my god okay that was like very difficult part to put these two parts inside then i have two more left so i guess i found i found the correct one but now let's see so if i put these two parts here i have to stick this one inside and then i have to rotate it inside somehow to put it flat hmm. let's try to do that i don't think i did something no i didn't do anything how to rotate it so it is inside right like so i have to flip it here no it just slides to the side <gasps> oh this piece it it can go a little bit angled so maybe it will help me to flip the bottom piece uh let's see what what is happening inside i guess this is the only way i don't think that there are any other options if i put all both pieces up then there is more room for this piece inside and can it can easily rotate but i can't reach it oh that is the biggest issue here somehow i have to give that piece a push so that it will go sideways and i guess i can give a push with two parts so it is right here now if i put this piece a little bit down right here so it will be pushing on this side then it will go down and rotate okay let's try <gasps> oh done <laughs> i have no idea how it was rotated but the piece is down there okay now i have one left here and now solved finally that was the most difficult akaki's picnic basket most of the other puzzles from this series they require just a couple of uh, complicated moves and then you can easily put all parts inside but this puzzle is completely different you have to struggle a lot to put each and every piece inside of the baskets so it's a great puzzle i have no idea how puzzle designers come up with such ideas that's like the biggest puzzle that i will probably never solve if you like the foie puzzle and you want to 3d print it i will put a link to the project file in the video description and if you still don't have a 3d printer you can buy a tina 2s it will work perfectly for small projects and that's all for me for today thank you for watching see you next time